hey, are you ready for a prophetic word? I've been all ears. Oh, she's going to prophesy to me personally. Well, I am, but it's going to be different than what you're thinking because I'm thinking about First Peter where Peter said we have a more sure word of prophecy. So what we need to do is get our prophetic words from the written word, which is great. And it's wonderful if some prophet gives you a prophecy. It doesn't happen to me very often, like once in every like 10 years or something. But I've learned to get my prophetic words from the written word. So what I'm going to start with is Second uh, Timothy. And is at chapter 2 and verse 15. And I'm in the old Amplified Bible. Study and be eager and do your utmost to present yourself to God. Approved, tested by trial, a workman who needs not to be ashamed. Correctly, this is the part, correctly analyzing and accurately dividing and rightly handling and skillfully teaching the word of truth. And so as we look here, we got to see that God is saying how we get the prophetic word where we're accurately handling it properly. You, you got that? We've got to learn how to rightly divide the word. Now listen to me. <laughs> the word of truth. Okay. So this season we're in right now, we got bumps in the road. We've had bumps in the road. But this is nothing compared to what's going to happen. So we got to be ready for it. And how are you going to be ready for it? And you go, well, I'm ready for it. I went to the grocery store and I bought 1,500 boxes of this and that and the other, whatever, you know, and they're all stacked in my garage. Well, that's going to, that might help and everything. But if you're only, if you're only prepared for things like that, but you're not prepared inside you. You're not prepared emotionally. You're not prepared financially. And you're not prepared to where you like, I know what God said and I'm not moved. Well, you get that through studying the word and presenting yourself unto the Lord. Now, now remember, this is like, this is really word of faith, okay? This is faith in the written word of God that he says, present yourself. Tested by trial. Yeah, there's going to be trials. God is not trying us. You know, God knows the future. He is the future. He is your future. He doesn't have to test you to find out what you're going to do day after tomorrow. He already knows that part. Hello, is anybody out there? Because the lamb was slain before the foundation of the earth was laid, Peter in, in Ephesians. All right, so what we have to do, though, is we have to study his written word so that we can understand and accurately handle what's going on. Because we've had all this hoopla going on about prophets and stuff. And, and so we're talking about all that. But I, what I want to do is help you get stabilized where you're not going, well, this prophet said this and it didn't happen. That prophet said that. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And so you just get like, okay, Jesus, show me in your word. Help me to rightly divide the word of truth jesus himself in in the in the book of john in gosh john 12 13 14 15 16 17 he said the holy spirit is the holy spirit of truth only the truth that we really i'm talking about deep down in our gut know is the truth that's going to set us free and so as we begin to know this written word, we begin to know Jesus Christ. As we begin to know him better, then when a prophet says something, we, we can discern that. And we can respond to it emotionally grown up instead of like whiny babies. Oh, don't get mad at me because I said that. But some people are like going, rawr, rawr, rawr. that's not how to respond. How to respond is, Father, what are you telling me? Help me to be prepared properly. It's okay to have extra toilet paper in your garage, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's not going to help you. You've got to get steady on the inside. I've got to get steady on the inside. we got to get to the place to where, okay, that's happening, but I know what God said. I, I want to be prepared, Father. Show me, Holy Spirit of truth, what is the prophetic word for me and my family for today and how are we going to be properly prepared for tomorrow? Five years from tomorrow, 10 years from tomorrow, how are we going to come to that place? So what I want you to do is do exactly what he, Paul told Timothy. Study, study, study. Pray, pray, pray. 
I'm telling you, prayer changes things. Studying the Bible changes you because it changes the way you believe. It changes the things you see. And it helps us as a women tour. And then when somebody does give you a prophetic word, you're able to handle it so much better because you know what God has said. And then when the bumps come along, instead of us being on a roller coaster, oh my gosh, I want instead of doing that, we go like, okay, this is what God said. So steady as she goes. So I'm going to be talking to you about this later. And we're, I'm going to be doing a master class, another master class. You need to do the, the prayer master class. You guys need to learn how to pray <laughs> and learn how to pray at a higher level because we got higher devils right now. We're fighting the Antichrist big time. Okay. And we intend on winning, but also get ready. I'm going to do a master class on prophetic and prophets and all that stuff. So you're going to love it. So sign up on Substack. I'm learning to say that word. Isn't that cute? <laughs> and sign up with on my email, gingerziegler at .com. And thank you to all of you that are helping us financially. You know, we told you that we were believing God for some equipment. And guess what? It's coming in. It's beginning to manifest. And you're helping us to make it possible. So I just want to tell you thank you. Thank you. And I want to thank you for praying for me. And God bless you. I'll see you next time.